Curly Chris fam, make sure you do one thing and that is to smash that button down below for your girl, okay? Smash that button down below. As you guys can see, we have a little extra length, okay? Do you see her? She is thriving out here, honey. So let's go ahead and hop into the details of today's video. So like I said, we are doing a flexi rod set on my natural hair, which is in the stretch state right now. So y'all already know how I feel about styling on stretched hair. I love it, okay? So the surprise is we are going to be adding a little bit of length, honey, okay? Shout out to Better Length for sending your girl these clip-ins, y'all. Look, I'm excited, okay? Better Length is a natural hair company where they sell clip-ins and extensions for all types of textured hair. And y'all, they got me right with these long, kinky, coarse clip-ins, honey, okay? I will leave all the details on these clip-ins right here so you guys can know which ones I got. It do have a little dent in them right here, but look. I'm so excited to try these out, y'all. Like, look how full this is. And it actually kind of matches my texture right now. So, like, I'm excited. And we're going to be adding these into my Flexi Rise set for a little bit more length and volume. And we're going to also see just how well it blends with my natural hair. So, shout out to Better Lens for sponsoring your girl's video today. Y'all are the goats for that. Okay? I really do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and hop right into what I'm going to be doing and what I'm going to be using. So for the style, I'm going to be using my simple gray and purple flexi rods. And I'm also going to be using the Dews Mousse because I did like whenever I used this on my hair before. So I'm going to just be using these two together. And this mousse really does give good definition. Um, that's all I'm going to be using. I want to use like as little product as possible because I do want to wear my hair in this stretch state for a while and do multiple styles. So... Yeah, but if you want to see how I stretch my hair, you can go ahead and click on my previous video where I showed you guys two ways to stretch your hair, one without heat and one with heat. So this is the clip in and I'm going to just go ahead and detangle that just to make sure it's fully brushed. All right, y'all. So I went ahead and zoomed in because I wanted to, you guys to really see the technique that I was doing. So in the back areas, I just took the clip in that matched the length or the width, I should say, of the back of my head and it went ahead and put that on top and just clamp it over my hair um, because, of course, the hair on top is going to cover those clip ins. So I just go ahead and put that in just like that. And then I went ahead and clamped the extra off on the end um, just so there isn't any extra hanging off, of course. And then I went ahead and split it up and I'm going to install a flexi rod right here and a technique that I did for the flexi rod is very important as well I went ahead and applied the mousse and I want to mention that I changed up what I use I didn't use the mousse anymore um, after the these two and I use um, a cream but I'm, I mean a butter but I'll talk about that later on um, so now I'm going to go ahead and start with the fake hair and roll that up on the flexi rod and then blend in my real hair whenever I get to that point and put that on the flexi rod. I couldn't do it starting at my real hair and um, because it didn't hold at the end for the fake hair for some reason. So I had to do it this way, which really, really did work well with blending. So once I rolled it on up the flexi rod, it most definitely blended the hair on end um, as one, just which, which was exactly what I was going for. So then once I got to the top, I went ahead and secured that at the root and then also at the end secure it on both ends and I did the exact same thing as you guys can see the ends are staying and that is because I took the end of the fake hair and I also took the end of my real hair now let me show you guys again 
So I went ahead and applied the fake hair to the rod first. I tucked that in first with the other hair on top. And then I kept rolling all the way up until when I got to the fake hair, applied that on, tucked that underneath as well. And tucking basically means applying more hair on top so that the ends can't come off the flexi rod. And then went ahead and rolled that on up on the flexi rod and secured that in place. So I, that's the exact same technique that I did multiple times. And then what I want to show you guys is towards the front what I did. So this is very, very important. So in the front, I went ahead and split some hair off at the bottom. This is how I blend the hair in the front so you can't tell. And here, as you guys can see, I have more hair on the bottom than on the top. Now I have less hair on the bottom than on the top. So there's less hair on that bottom part. Now I go ahead and apply the clip-in that matches the length of that. And I apply the clip-in along that entire piece of hair. And then I put the other hair on top of that one to hide the clip-in, okay? So that you're hiding the clip-in essentially. So this is a very important part to make your clip-ins look natural. So I hid that, and then I'm going to go ahead and split off the section that I'm going to flex your rod, just like I did in the other sections, the exact same technique and the exact same method. Now, what I wanted to show you guys was I used the Glam Naturally um, Coco Shea Butter for this because the mousse was giving me kind of like a harder hold. I mean, not hard, like a sticky feeling. I didn't like that. So I switched over to a butter, but I really should have stuck with the mousse because I did get better hold with that mousse as you guys will see once I take them down. So that's the exact same technique that I talked about. I will talk about the mousse butter situation more, but this is what my entire head is looking like after I finish. Now let's go ahead and get into the takedown part. All right, fam, so it is the next day, and I went ahead and did, you know, a little bit of some on my face. So now we're going to go ahead and start taking these flexi rods out. I do have a good feeling about them. I feel like it's going to be cute, but let's just go ahead and see, okay, because who knows. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of oil on my fingers because we don't touch our hair when our fingers are dry, period. So I also got my edges tied up, and those are going to stay tied up until I am ready to take the scarf off. All right, y'all, let's see. Oh, I'm scared. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess. It did a little something, something. I did want length, so this may be a good thing for me to get length. I really like how the ends are like popping. If the ends ain't popping, <laughs> even with fake hair, if the ends ain't popping, the style ain't rocking. Do you hear me? So yes, y'all, I went ahead and finished taking all of them down and then we're gonna fast forward to the final look. So y'all about to see how it looks when I took everything out, okay? Fam, y'all do. I can't believe this. Look at how good this looks. Like, this looks so good. This is honestly like my new hair goals. Like, when I blow dry my hair, I want it to look like this whenever I do a flexi rod set. This looks so natural. It looks so just beautiful. It just blends so well. Like, the whole nine, y'all. I can't believe this. Like, I keep looking at myself like, future self, is that you? Huh? I think it is. Give me about five years. Look, this is lit. Lit. I love it. And honestly, I was a little bit hesitant when the company wanted to send me like straightened hair. Cause y'all know like I don't really do like straightened styles on my hair. And I kind of want like the curly clippings again, but I always get those. And I was like, well, let me go ahead, live life on the edge, try these out. Y'all, this is something I have been missing that I never knew I've been missing. Like this is lit. I do want to say one thing. If you do plan on getting these clippings, I highly do suggest if you're styling like I am to use a mousse then more so than like the 
butter I used. I noticed on the parts where I used the mousse, I did get more of a hold. Um, I would just suggest not using one that's like too watery because you don't want your hair to, re to re revert. But a mousse most definitely did hold it a little bit better in certain areas. That's something to be mindful of. If you are interested in picking you up some clip-ins, let me tell you guys all the details on the ones that I have real quick because you need this in your life, okay? So this is the Kinky Course Yaki Clip-Ins number 1B, 20 inches long. Um, that's what this is. Number 1B, Kinky Course Yaki. And I also have a code CRYSTAL726 that I will leave right here to get some money off on your clip-ins if you do choose to get some. But that is the end of today's video. Shout out to Better Lynn for sponsoring your girl's video today. I do appreciate it, of course. Thank you guys so much for supporting me as well. And I hope y'all like this look because I am feeling myself, okay? Check my Instagram for some fly pics. I feel like I'm about to go take some. So check my IG for that. And I will see you guys in my next video.